free tax profit at 5.7 billion is is at a high. We grew year on year, despite some items that um, that were in this year created some noise. But what's really exciting is the momentum we see in the business. Um, we had a 10% year-on-year growth in our investment bank in the fourth quarter. Um, admittedly, in a year that was still retracing the very strong performances of 21 and 22, so 9% down for the full year, but we see momentum, especially now going into 24 in origination advisory, and very strong I think, consistent performance in our FIC franchise. Yeah, the FIC franchise is always at the center of attention of the markets because you traditionally are very strong there. And here we're seeing a slight miss when it comes to analyst expectations. Why is that? Well, I think it's really the consensus got a little bit ahead of itself. You know, year on year, that business is up 1% against what was a strong fourth quarter in 2022. And so we're, we're, we're comfortable with, the, with the, the way the business is performing. And interestingly, 23 was a year without a lot of sort of lumpy one or one off or more episodic items in FIC. So it was a very stable, um, strong flow performance in the business. And the rotation that we'd called for from macro products of, of FX and rates principally to a, a much stronger credit performance. Um, so we're, we're pleased with that performance. And to your point, the market tends to focus on fixed income and currencies, but, but 2023 was just an outstanding year for our, our banking businesses in corporate bank and private bank. Corporate bank was up 22% yeah. year on year, obviously riding uh, a strong interest income wave, but, um, but with, with, with very pleasing performance underneath that as well. Let's look into 2024. How did the, the year start? Like from the first quarter, not quarter, from the first month, perhaps you already have like a little bit of a, a sure. sense. Yeah, it's been a strong start yeah. into the year, uh, okay. absolutely. So we've, we're seeing, as I say, that momentum carry over from, from 23 into 24. We think there are, and I'll focus for a moment on the, on the corporate finance business, which has been in a most of two-year um, sort of decline, if you like, in, in revenues. But the way that business works, it, it, is, it goes through cycles. They tend to be usually four to six quarters, sometimes spread over two calendar years, and then things recover. And we do think that the setup for a recovery in corporate finance activity and financing, M&A, equity transactions is, is very strong for, for a list of reasons. Uh, and that's something we, we look forward to participating in and supporting our clients around. You're also announcing share buybacks, um, sort of, shareholder um, policy, I would say. Is that all for the year or is there more to come? Uh, are you continuing to support the shares? Look, we're, we're working hard to deliver on, on what we call baseline expectations for our distributions. And we set now two years ago a goal of, of eight billion of distributions over a five-year period. Um, and, and we're continuing on that path. That path has been 50% per annum increases now in both dividends and share repurchases. Um, as, I, as I say, I'd think of that as our baseline expectations. And as we started to talk about in the third quarter, given, I think, a better capital outlook um, than we'd anticipated, say, a year ago, we'd like to expand and accelerate on that, so, so go beyond, perhaps well beyond, our $8 billion target through to 2026. Critics would say you have no other um, opportunity to put your money into play because there should be higher yielding um, possibilities. So why don't you look at M&A? Well, look, we have, over the past several years, a lot of the capital that we've been generating internally has gone to what we would affectionately refer to as reg inflation, so changes in models and estimations of our capital requirement. And there's one more step ahead with Basel III early next year. And in that, I, I would say that the deployment into the businesses has been less than we might have liked. Now, given the capital position we're in, and even with a, a more ambitious distribution agenda, we do think we have more capital available to invest in the businesses. And you've also seen us do things on the inorganic side, like the Numis transaction last year, which we're, which we're very pleased with and, and, uh, and encouraged by the, the early signs of. Uh, so, so the answer is we do see opportunities to deploy, deploy capital, both in our businesses organically and possibly inorganically in bolt-on acquisitions.